Well, I want to thank you that you've joined us for this video and we've taken a look at who really is Mystery Religion Babylon the Great, the woman that sits upon the many waters. My friends, it is common knowledge amongst Protestants and Catholics that the woman here described as a, a woman sitting upon many waters, many people, is the Roman Catholic Church. The woman, one billion strong. She's described as a scarlet-colored beast. And my friends, scarlet is a color of red. And it is a common Roman Catholic color of archbishops and of the Pope himself. But what's interesting to note is that she has a golden cup in her hand. You may not be aware of this, but my friends, that's where the word hocus pocus came from. My friends, when you are actually eating the body or the host, the Eucharist, you are consuming the real Jesus. It no longer represents Jesus, and no one can deny the fact that this woman, my friends, has attacked the saints. The Bible says, I saw the woman drunk with the blood of the saints. When you take a look at the Reformation, the Catholic Church has killed more people worldwide in its three crusades than Hitler did, my friends, in World War II. And the Bible tells us that the woman, my friends, sits upon seven hills. There's only seven hills that surround the city of the Vatican, Rome itself. I have a list of those cities in my Bible. My friends, when we're talking about doctrines that are late in its very conception, stuff like praying to Mary, the daily mass, the hailing of the Pope as the infallible one of God, celibacy, those doctrines are not even a thousand years old. None of that stuff is found in the Bible. I could go on and on about who is mystery religion Babylon the Great, but the Catholic Church has put it this way. They believe, my friends, that the last pope will be the Antichrist, the one ruler coming to rule the world. Now, whether that's true or not isn't important, but one thing is clear, the Catholic Church believe that it is going to be an apostate pope. My friends, do you hear the words of Christ who says in the Bible, in Matthew chapter 15, 14, that if the blind lead the blind, both will fall into the ditch? Do you want to die believing what God believes? Or do you want to die believing what your father and his father before him and what is known as traditions and all that they believed? My friends, you can know what God believes when you just turn to the pages of the Holy Bible.